Hello everybody and welcome to Just Football as I'm bringing you the latest transfer news from Adidas TV Premiership. I have the latest from Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Cape Town City, Amazulu, Morocco Solos and more. Now if you're new on Just Football, kindly click on the subscribe button as we upload similar content every week. Now let's get on with the video. Let me start by talking about the big story of this week. Now, Kansas Chiefs have agreed terms with Colombian striker F. Manjasond Gonzalez on a season-long loan from Bolivian club Real Santa Cruz. Now, this is a real coup for Amakosi because there was a lot of interest in this player from Bartola League. He has been very, very impressive after scoring eight goals in his first 11 games last season, which attracted a lot of interest uh, from North Africa as well. So now, uh, Kansas Chiefs have won this race to sign the player now it has been very very silent from our cozy with regards to their link with gonzalez but looks like they got the deal over the line and also it is a season, season long loan but Amakosi have uh, the option to make the move permanent so they want to assess the player first this season i think is a very limited risk uh, move for Amakosi because they signed the player and then they look at him for one season and then if he is impressive and he has he's adapting well to the dc membership they are going to make that move permanent so very very good business for Amakosi. He's still only 24 years old, so I think he will. He might have a future in South Africa if, if only if he does well for Amakosi. So this is the only thing that can make his move permanent if he does well. Now I think this is going to be also paving the way for uh, Caleb Bemeyemana now because Kesips have got a replacement. In. So Caleb Mimana, we know he's still locked in negotiations with APR. Now that move, I think, is going to be given the green light by Amakos. Even though we know Malefen Seki had previously mentioned that he's going to in, uh, include Caleb Mimana as a part of his squad for the next season. But the Gonzalez coming in, I think it is paving the way. Caleb Mimana, let's wait and see if we'll get an official confirmation in the next few hours and days about his departure. But a real coup of Amakosi, let's wait and see what Gonzalez will be bringing. I can't say I know a lot about this player. I have not seen him play before and I've not even seen the links between Amakosi and uh, the player. I just heard about the move yesterday. It was just late so I couldn't make a video. So right now this is it. Amakosi have got their man. Uh, F. Majorson uh, Gonzalez. So with the say, with the name, it is very very long name but I think it will take uh, some getting used to. So Amakosi, new striker F. Majorson Gonzalez. Here we go. Now, as we continue, I want to give you an update on the situation of Lyle Lakey. We know Lyle Lakey has agreed personal terms with Supersport United, and that is the only move that he wants. He will not be joining Cape Town Spurs. We know these are the only two teams that are in for Lyle Lakey at the moment, but Cape Town Spurs want him on loan. Supersport United are open to any possibility, so they are still negotiating with Mamelisanos. They want to get the player on a permanent transfer. That is one thing they've made clear because they want Lakey to be able to play against Mamelisanos when they play against them. So that is the one thing that has been holding up this deal. Um, Super Sports United are insisting that they will not have that uh, clause where Lakey is not eligible to play against Mamelisanos because I think this season Super Sports United are going to be one of their direct rivals for the uh, title. So let's wait and see how this deal will be concluded and whether it's going to be a loan move or a permanent move. Now, Mamelisanos, I think they may have to compromise in this situation because I think Lila K's contract is running out at the end of this season so they may have to just compromise and let him go on a permanent transfer so let's wait and see what's going to happen in this situation Lila K to Supersport United, that move from what I'm told it is going to happen one way or another whether it's going to be on loan or on a permanent deal but Lila K is going to be joining Supersport United because the player that is a team that he wants to play for and also that is a team that has come in with an official bid for him now, still talking about uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. Now, striker Tabiso Kutumela. Now, Tabiso Kutumela is going to be making a decision. So, I'm told uh, Mamelodi Sundowns are going to give the player the opportunity to make his own choice. So, he's going to be choosing between Amazulu and Cape Town City. So, at the moment, it looks like uh, he's going to be joining Cape Town City because of Eric Tinkler. So, Eric Tinkler is busy trying to convince the player. And they previously worked together, uh, is it, was it at Marispec United? But uh, Eric Tinkler previously worked with with uh, Kutumela, but this just may give them um, an opportunity to snatch the, trans the, the transfer from under the noses of Amazul. Amazul were the first team to inquire about Taviso Kutumela's availability, but Cape Town City have since entered the race after they heard about his availability. Like I said yesterday, Taviso Kutumela and Mamelis announced they have agreed that the best way forward is to part uh, ways. So let's wait and see if a deal can be struck with either Cape Town City or Amazul for Taviso Kutumela. But the player, definitely, he wants to leave because he wants to play consistent football. Remember, 
remember he was one of the most sought after strikers when he was still playing at Marisbeck United. So it's been disappointing for him at Mamelodi now. So right now he wants to right that wrong. So he wants to join a team. But I think Cape Town City are going to get the player at the end of the day because I think they offer more. And they're playing the most, the more attractive football compared to that of Amazul. And also, they may be challenging for the Cape Confederations Cup. So, the ambition of the player, I think he will end up at Cape Town City. Now, moving on, I want to talk about Morocco Solos. And Morocco Solos have been very, very impressive in this transfer window. They've added Tsofaj Mavasa and Gabadino Mango up front, which is promising. I think, like I said before, Morocco Solos are going to be one of the most interesting projects in this 2023-2024 season. They are ones to look at as well. So if someone loses sight of them, they will surprise us. I think they are the one team that is going to surprise us. This is an under the guidance of uh, one of the most experienced coaches, I think, in South African football, Steve Compella. So now the Duba Bears are closing in on a move for former Stellenbosch FC defender Vusis Bia. Now, Vusis Bia is set to become another, yet another signing for uh, Morocco Solo. So I'm thinking they're signing this player because we know with the situation of Mwangani Sam, Mwangani Sam is also ineligible to play against Orlando Pirates. So there is that complication. So they will need another option in other games. So they are also looking at that situation because Orlando Pirates didn't set that close that Mwangani Sam and Trofat Mabasa are not going to be playing against them. So we see what they are doing now. They have options in case when they're playing Orlando Pirates. So Gabadino Mango when they're playing Alan Paris is going to be the main striker uh, ahead of Chopat Romasa and also Vangani Sam is not going to be playing against Alan Paris so instead they are trying to sign Vusi Zbiar so there's a player from the reports that I've heard he's uh, close to signing a two year deal at Morocco Solos so a deal is imminent at Morocco Solos uh, for the signature of Vusi Zbiar now moving on, I want to talk about Royal AM and their financial mess. Now Royal AM have lost another case in the dispute resolution chamber of the PSL. I think they've been the most regular team in the dispute resolution chamber. They have uh, lost a case against their former assistant Riteko Mototo, Simon Kopan who was a Gilp goalkeeper coach and Jose Molokwani who was an analyst at Royal AM. So uh, Royal AM have been ordered to pay the trio and uh, 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 Diteko Mototo, uh, he's owed around 1.1 million rands. Simon Kopani has to be paid 180,000 rand and Hosi has to be paid 4 million 900,000 rand within the next 30 days. So there's more trouble at Royal AM. We would have thought that things would be getting better, but now things are getting worse for Royal AM. They have lost yet another case. So this amounts they add up uh, to around 6 million rands altogether. So Royal AM are in, in huge trouble so let's wait and see what is going to happen at royal m but now sean kize has come out and commended also on the situation of the Botana. she's saying that she was not aware that this was happening that uh, the, the manager the general manager and the lawyers were trying to sue cases for signing the Botana. so now they're saying she's saying that she has told them to let it go so sean kize has a financial mess at royal m that she has to resolve i think she has to change the general manager and the lawyer because they have not doing their jobs right they've been misleading her for a long time now she has to let them go and restructure her club otherwise she's going to be uh paying a lot more players than this i think more players are going to be coming in with uh lawsuits against royal AM. so the dispute resolution chamber are aware that royal AM are a mess so they need to resolve this now now thank you very much for watching now give me your thoughts on the situation of royal am case signing a new striker gawadino mango joining Ama, uh, morocco solos and also lila k close to joining supersport united and all the players that i mentioned in this video